What's going on guys, it's Patrick here, and today we are back with another World War II Zombies video, and in this one guys, what I wanted to talk about is the essentially new Create a Class for World War II Zombies. So throughout the years, we've seen a lot of innovation in Call of Duty Zombies, but this is something that I think is extremely cool, very unique, and it's a little bit complicated, so I basically just wanted to make a video going over everything. So the way that it used to basically work is you would just pop into a Zombies game and that was it. But now it's a little bit different because you'll see on the ready up screen, it basically makes you create, it makes you use a class and you've got four um, preset classes, but they also have these new custom creator classes that you can use. So for example, instead of only spawning in with like your classic Colt or whatever, there's actually like a machine pistol you can spawn in with, a rifle, sniper, and even shotgun. So it's, it's extremely different from how zombies used to be. And we've also got what are known as mods or perks that are basically substitutions for gobble gum. So there's a lot that I want to talk about in this video. Now I'm also running a giveaway for a couple of copies of Call of Duty World War II. So if you want to be entered in to win that, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and just comment down below what you think of World War II zombies so far. Anyways though, let's go over this created class and soldier section that has been added to Call of Duty zombies. So the first thing we're going to look at are the loadouts. This is like your created class, that this is what you spawn into the map with. Um, the very first thing that you're going to see is your specialist. And this is actually basically the replacement for specialist weapons from Black Ops 3. So you basically, you hit L1 and L, or sorry, L1 and R1, and it will like activate something. So you've got camouflage, which basically is an in plain sight. The player is ignored by zombies. Free fire makes it so that you have infinite ammo for roughly 30 seconds. You've got frontline, which makes all the zombies chase you and you do double damage. And lastly, shell shock kind of makes a little explosion, knocking back all the zombies and stunning them. In a nutshell, these specialist things are essentially your safety go-to sort of thing. You get trapped in a corner, this is like your, your way out. You pull one of these out and you, you end up living. As mentioned before, we've also got starting weapons now. So at the beginning of your game, you're only going to have the M1911 and the P08 unlocked. Um, I went for the Colt just because it's the Colt. But you've also got a machine pistol that you can unlock, a M1 A1 carbine, which is, is going to be crazy. Uh, sniper is going to be it. And then I'm kind of interested to see how the shotguns play. But most likely, I feel like the rifle or probably the machine pistol are going to be the best here. You've got lethal grenades. And then finally, we've got our mods, which are essentially perks and this is like the big deal. Basically what these have done is, is essentially replace Gobblegum. So you've got universal mods that sort of apply to everything and then you've also got mods that are only for your certain class. So like the free fire, the camouflage or whatever. Now you can unlock more mods through the Raven research thing. So essentially how it works is you play games, you unlock tokens, very simple concept, we've seen it before, and you unlock things. So what I've got already is one called Pack Mule. It's a universal so you can carry it with whatever. It's Mule Kick, it, it gives you a third gun. Um, you've also got Resourceful, which is an increased chance to spawn power-ups when killing zombies. It's pretty good. Um, Grenadier just gives you more, more grenades. Discipline is increased weapon accuracy and damage while crouching. And this is like the crazy one. It's Hoarder. It's carrying an additional Blitz, which is perks in this game. You've also got one that makes your specialist go up quicker. You've got power-ups last longer, which is, is pretty good, as well as increased max ammo reserves. But the two in this section that are just stupid OP is carry an additional perk, as well as the third gun. And they're both universal, so you can actually use them at the same time. Hit that jack, jack. Moving on to the next section, we've got armored up, which basically makes it so that you spawn with additional health. Um, the next one may, gives you additional health while you're using camouflage. So again, that's like a, a custom one to camouflage. Um, you've got resilient, which reduces the delay before regaining health. So basically, it makes you heal faster. Um, you've got flak jacket, which is PhD flopper absolutely amazing um, and that is also a universal mod so that's going to be huge uh, determination gives you extra health again when activating a, a front line you've got breathing room which increases how shell shock works um, stubborn makes it so that when you down it's like an aftertaste you keep your perks for the first time no matter what and then finally punishment basically makes it so that um, if enemies touch you while you're using front line they die. Put them in pocket till I get back. Moving on to Blood Raven, we've got nearby teammates also receive damage bonus while using frontline. It's 
all right. Moving on to Explosive Handler, um, it basically just gives you grenades while you're using Free Fire. Moving on to Protector, this basically makes it that when you use Shell Shock, you gain health. You've got Field Medic, which makes it so that you can revive people faster while you're using Camouflage. The next one is also around Medic. It basically makes it so that um, the first hit you get hit by a zombie while you're reviving someone doesn't actually damage you. Ammo Carrier is not very good. It just gives your teammates an additional clip. The Fibrillate is kind of a cool stack to Shell Shock so that if an enemy's in the way, it sends everything out and it picks up your teammate. Exfiltration makes it so that alleys revived while you're using Camouflage also hides them. Uh, the next one we've got is Preventative Medicine. Your whole team has longer bleed out time, so it's like a coagulant. Um, and then Squad Tactics, nearby alleys get a headshot damage bonus while using Free Fire. So again, I mean, a lot of these are good, but like... Going downtown, see your man, and I ain't got time, shake your hand. Lastly, we've got Headshot Steal significantly increased damage while using Free Fire. Uh, enemies hit by Shell Shock are set on fire. Lethal Equipment does significantly more damage while using Camouflage. The player's weapon is upgraded while using Free Fire. That's fairly good. Deal extra melee damage against enemies with less than half health. Melee attacks deal extra damage over time while using Camouflage. Um, enemies stunned by Shell Shock take triple damage. And last but not least, Vicious is enemies take triple damage instead of double damage while using Frontline. I feel like the problem with a lot of these mods is you've got a Mule Kick mod, you've got an extra perk mod, Flak Jacket's gonna be really good, and even Resilience significantly reduces the delay before regaining health, makes it so that you recover quicker from taking red. Huge in this game now that Jug has changed. Also in the loadouts, you've got like weapon kits now, so I mean, that's nothing new, but you know, you can add like, you know, a quick draw to your gun, that, that kind of deal. You guys have seen this before. But we've also got consumables, which is the true replacement for Gobblegum. So there's perks that have taken slots of that, but we've also got consumables. So instead of having your classic five gobble gums and you either carry them with your cards or or you just spawn them in with a machine, you actually just have them in your game. So you've got things like spawn a max ammo, um, spawn a nuke, spawn a bazooka, um, kind of weird stuff. And these are sort of like your one-time use things. You'll actually spawn in with a set of 10 of them, which is really nice of them to do that for us, but they are um, consumed and once you use it, it's gone. As a pro tip, you can dashboard and save them, but then you don't get XP. So you get to equip two of these, as you can see, like, I don't know, let's just go with a freaking refund coupon, provides 25% off um, on any purchase. And then you've also got self revive. So in solo or in a game, if you down, you can actually use two of these per game. Again, they're finite and it just automatically revives you. <laughs> And then the last thing that we have are your favorite, ladies and gentlemen, supply drops. So as of now, um, of me recording this, you'll see that, uh, actually, can I get out of this lobby? Uh, you'll see that the store is actually not a thing yet. Probably gonna have stuff for like COD points and all that, uh, I guarantee you. Basically, you can still get supply drops while playing zombies. So I have one, I figured I'd use it for this video. Hit that zombie supply drop, you get uh, Lady Luck, a grip, a grip again. Um, oh, and then there you go. So we've got uh, t we've got an insta kill thing. MG15 makes it so that the next box hit you get will be an MG15. And then last hit is guaranteed. So same idea. I don't know why that's one. Why the sniper is more than the MG15, but anyways, whatever. So that's pretty much it as far as this whole setup goes, guys. Um, personally, what I would say is the best setup is Free Fire is huge. It gives you unlimited ammo for 30 seconds, as well as um, I wouldn't recommend Armor Up. I just have it for now, but definitely have Pack Mule. If you can get the one, actually, well, this is what I'll show you as, as well, just just to just to show you a little bit more with the re uh, Raven research. I really want to get so that I can carry an additional perk. Um, so how you use these, right, is you have a token, you uh, unlock it, boom, and then you can unlock the next one. So as you can see right there, additional perk, that's huge. So that's probably the one that I'm going for. Realistically, I feel like that's gonna be the best setup is um, a third gun slot. You're especially gonna want a third gun slot because the wonder weapon is, is, is important to have, but you run out of ammo quickly. Um, and then, like I said, probably an extra perk slot and, and maybe something like resilient or flak jacket uh, is probably gonna be the most OP combo. Anyways, so guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you later. Peace out, you freaking nerds. Thank you.